Hi, I'm Michelle Earhart, Deputy Consumer Tech Editor for Gizmodo, and I'm here with breaking news reporter Kyle Barr, who is also on the scene, and we're going to walk through some of the stuff we saw at CES 2023. Probably my favorite thing that I saw at CES was the new HTC Vive. HTC has been like making these high-end VR headsets for a while now, but they're mostly like tethered to PC. There's a couple of enterprise solutions that aren't, but this is a consumer-facing standalone headset that's sort of positioned to compete with the MetaQuest Pro. And it has this feature that I really like to it where uh, I'm farsighted, so I've never had a really great experience with VR, you know, having the lenses right up in my face. But what the HTC Vive XR Elite has is it has these adjustable diopter lenses on the inside where you can dial in your prescription, like anything between one and six, I think. So you can wear the headset tuned to your prescription without needing to wear glasses inside of it or whatever. So Kyle, I know you were wandering the show floors a lot. What was some of the coolest stuff you saw at CES that like genuinely impressed you? So I got to uh, go all the way out to the south end of the strip. I got to test out uh, Unistellar's new light uh, pollution reduction technology from their Equinox 2 and their EV Scope 2 telescopes. Vegas is a good testing ground for this because it's just full of lights all the time. More than New York, I'd say. It's definitely just a huge hotbed of light and surrounded by darkness. Mm -hmm. Looking at this uh, technology, um, we got to see the Triangle Galaxy. And as it zooms in on this, it tracks the coordinates automatically based on a catalog of thousands of different celestial bodies. It's slowly picked out the galaxy in increase the resolution over time, building more and more on its own display. I mean, one thing I saw was basically a new smell-o-vision device called the Aroma Player. Now, the company Aroma Joy is using this as a business-to-business -business kind of opportunity. They want to sell this to VR makers or maybe to home theaters and stuff like that. But their general idea is they want to blast smells at you as you're watching whatever video. Um, one thing they showed was a video from The Matrix during the woman in the red dress scene. And as that played, uh, they pretty much blasted a scent right in my face that smelled kind of fruity. And I asked them, what's that scent? And they told me, oh, that's perfume. I'm like, sure, that, that makes sense. So it's kind of like being in the perfume aisle at the mall with people just wafting a bunch of scents in your face? Yes, but imagine it's a robot that doesn't have any qualms about literally almost like hurricane level winds into your face just for a brief second so that you get it all in your eyes and your mouth and everything. So what about you? Did you see any strange, weird sights? all throughout Las Vegas. Yeah, I did. So uh, you might know that I'm a bit of a, a weeb, Kyle. And uh, I did see something there that was really cool. One of my other favorite things of the show, which was a robot uh, from RoboSend, which is a self-transforming Optimus Prime. Sort of reimagines him to be like, what would he look like in the real world? So, you know, in the cartoon, he's not really built in a way to like realistically transform or move around in the way he does. But this Optimus Prime comes with a bunch of like servos and motors and stuff. It's freestanding. You can just press a button and he'll turn into the truck on his own. You can press it again and he'll go back into robot form. But what's really cool about it is you can go into an app and you can program in either like written code or block language all these different motion routines for him to do. What else did you say? So I also went to Cooler Master's booth. What I saw there was the Cooler Master Orb X, and these are sort of built to be immersive gaming experiences. So the Orb X, think of it as like this giant egg. You get into this chair like Darth Vader entering his meditation chamber, and a big arm lowers over you. And then you have your monitor staring you right in the face. You have your desk built in in front of you. It has a wireless charger built in. 
Uh, it's got speakers built in. You've got a chair that reclines for you. And the idea is that you're just like set in your perfect gaming station and you don't need to move. I mean, if we put it in our office, I'm not sure which among us is going to be the most introverted to really stuff themselves inside an egg and tell nobody else to involve them in anything for the rest of the day. You know, Kyle, sometimes I do miss working from home, so mm -hmm. maybe me.